What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Passcode. Yes, indeed. Passcode fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbidi bobbidi bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Greg Garvin and SMB, and this is actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page, so. Here you go, SMB. I hope you enjoy the show, and you as well, Greg. Uh, they both want to see me react to this song by Passcode called Taking You Out. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Passcode Official, okay? And the video has 230,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Passcode, taking you out. Passcode, Zep Tour 2021 at Zep uh, Haneda trailer. <laughs> what? Is this a trailer? Are you kidding me? Trailer for what, a live video, maybe? Or maybe to advertise the tour? Interesting, a trailer. Eh, okay. Eh, well, look, not the first time I've done a trailer on the channel. This will be the second time, I think. Or third. Second or third. Anyway. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. breakdown super heavy breakdown i like it um i keep forgetting her name because i absolutely suck when it comes to names uh the lady doing the 
the grit and girl. I know she was in that video that I did for Lady Baby. I know she was in that. She was the one with the pink hair uh, doing the grit and growl. I love her, man. Gosh, she is so good. I really do, man. Her grit and growl is just so strong. Like, I would put her up against most dudes who do grit and growl any day of the week, and I would bet money on her. I absolutely would. Um, the other ladies sound fine. Uh, Sounds good. I, you can hear the auto-tune, obviously, in the vocals. You can hear the, the clear break, you know, from that to that, you know, just you, you can hear the you can hear the break. So it's it's obviously there. Um, the energy is great. I'm digging the feel. I'm digging the vibe. I'm digging the energy. I'm digging the drive. It's all there. All the components are there. Um, you can hear the digital. You, you can hear it. And it is a it's a lead voice, but it's not the driving force. The driving force is the drums, the bass, and the guitar. They are what are doing most of the legwork in this song. So I don't have a problem with the digital. When the digital takes the lead and does all the work and the guitars and bass and drums are just kind of an afterthought, that's when I have a problem. Then I'm, that's when I'm like, well, what's the point? You know, and that's not the case here. The digital is a lead voice, absolutely. And it, it is present and it's doing its job. But the, without the bass, guitar, and drums in this, it'd be hollow. Absolutely hollow. So kudos to all the instrumentalists. Um, yeah, this is, a, I guess this is a preview. This is an advertising tool to push, I guess, a live DVD, I suppose, from that tour. Um, either that or they're using footage from a previous live show to promote a upcoming tour. Ah, uh, hmm. I have mixed feelings about that. I do. If you're if you're gonna make a montage video where you take snippets of different songs, different shows, and you add them together to make an advertisement, that's one thing. That's one thing. But when you take an entire song from a previous tour and use it to promote an upcoming tour, like you take the live footage from like the last tour and use it to promote an upcoming tour, I'm not the biggest fan of that because it. To some extent, it creates false pretense and it creates false expectations. Because what are the odds that they're going to use that same set? Probably not at, not high at all. Probably non-existent. The set's probably going to be totally different. The girls are going to look totally different. Uh, they might they may not even play this song on the next tour. You don't know. You know what I mean? But if you take snippets of here and this 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 and you add them all together and it's clearly an edit job, you know, the best of to create a trailer to promote an upcoming tour. Well, that's different. I'm okay with that. This, not so much. Anyway, let's keep going here. Oh yeah, that's clearly the girls singing. Clearly, clearly the girls are singing. Not one mic in front of anybody's face. But yeah, that's clearly the girls singing. Yeah, can't you tell? Can't can't you tell that's the girls singing live? Of course they're singing live. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> are you stoned?
Okay, so the whole thing was a giant advertisement for upcoming live DVD, Blu-ray, and live CD, okay? And to promote an upcoming tour. Okay, well, I mean, primarily the focus is on the, the live DVD and Blu-ray, so that makes a lot more sense. That's a much easier pill to swallow. They just kind of mention, oh, by the way, we're going back on tour coming up, you know? So I, I get that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. The focus was on the DVD and Blu-ray. All right. Um, hmm. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. None of them bad. None of them bad. Just some things were good. Some things were okay. Some things were really good. Some things were great. So I don't know how this is going to go score-wise. I got to think about that. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Passcode with Taking You Out. This was a request from Greg Garvin and SMB, and this was actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of March for being a gold-tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, uh, SMB. Hope you enjoyed the show, and you as well, Greg. Um, okay, look. Before we go any further, I have to do this announcement. I'm doing this announcement in every single video for the entire month of March. So that way, hopefully everybody on the channel, everybody, everybody who's a member of the fan base will see at least one of these videos and they'll understand where, where, where we're going from here on out. So first things first, first point, uh, we are going back to the old scoring system, okay? Uh, you guys made your voices very loud and clear. Uh, I heard you guys, uh, we took the poll two-thirds, almost two-thirds of the fan base voted for us to go back to the old scoring system. So clearly, that's what you guys want. I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. Um, I said this during the live stream, that if we're going to go back to the old scoring system, there's got to be some changes. The main reason for that is this. Going to the five-star scoring system, people were concerned that a lot of, a lot of different bands and a lot of different songs we're all gonna be getting four stars. And there's gonna be a, a just a flood of four star scores. And listen, I, I hear you guys, I do. And I, I understand and I I agree with you guys, I, I do. Uh, that would more than likely probably happen. Here's the thing though, it's already happening. It already happened. It, it's been going on it, it, ever since pretty much the beginning of the channel. If you look at the history of the scores on the channel, going all the way back to the beginning, the majority of the scores, about roughly two thirds of the scores, fall between 7.4 and 8.6. Now I know what everybody's saying. Well, that's 13 different scores. You're right. It is 13 different scores out of 100. That means there is a 13% window that I'm working with. 13% of the total scores possible. Versus if I was to do the star rating, I would be, even if we did you know, use the five star rating and I gave a four star rating. That's 20%. That's actually a larger window. So <laughs> it's, it, it's more concentrated with those only 13 scores. You know, it's so the problem already exists. Now the solution is I got to get tougher. I have to get harder. I have to make it more difficult for bands to earn those sevens and those eights and those nines. I'm gonna have to make it a lot harder for that to happen. Uh, I'm gonna have to really, really hammer home and focus on making fives the middle ground. So five is average. It's not bad, it's average, okay? That's what I gotta focus on and I gotta really stay dedicated to that. So that's how we're gonna avoid an oversaturation. So there's gonna be sixes, there's gonna be fives, there's gonna be fours, <laughs> there's gonna be threes. <laughs> more than there used to be, a lot more than there used to be. Uh, and you're gonna see that getting sevens and eights is gonna get a lot harder. Getting a nine now is gonna be pretty much impossible. Just letting you know, it's it, if, you, if you somehow manage to get a nine now, that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> you're 
Trust me, if you got a nine now, you earned it. <laughs> so that's point number one. Point number two, uh, during the live stream, it was suggested by a number of people to help, because the, the whole reason I wanted to go to a five-star system was to make my scoring easier to understand, more acceptable, more accessible, easier to interpret. And a lot of people in the, in the live stream suggested that why don't I do more than one score? You know, take the score, but you know, translate it, you know, explain what it means. And that, you know what? That's a great idea. I'm gonna do that from now on. The upside, hopefully less confusion, less miscommunication and more understanding and comprehension. The downside, longer videos. I have to talk more. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, there are gonna be four different ways I'm gonna explain the score. There's gonna be the numeric score, there's going to be a scale score as far as great, really good, pretty good, okay. There's going to be the scale score. There's going to be a star rating. I'm still going to do the star rating, but it's going to be included with the old scoring system. So you're still going to have one out of five stars. And I'm also going to throw in a letter grade for people who just cannot get out of elementary school for some reason. So... I'm going to give you four different ways to interpret the exact same score. Now, if you cannot take at least one of those four ways and internalize it and accept it, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I I cannot help you. There is nothing I can do for you. Maybe you might want to think about going to another channel because I have a feeling this is not going to be the channel for you. Okay? Now, having said all of that... God, I can't believe I have to do this every single video. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give that a 7.1. Yep, 7.1. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? First things first, what does a 7.1 mean? Well, a 7.1 would translate to a really good score, okay? It would also translate to four out of five stars, and it would translate to a B letter grade, okay? A B, not a C, not a D, a B. Man, I would have killed for Bs in high school, man. I would have loved to have gotten Bs. So that's it, 7.1, which equals a really good score, which equals a four, star, four out of five star rating, which equals a B letter grade. Now. How did I come up with this score? Here we go, let's get to it. Um, the energy and drive of the song felt really good. I love the energy, love the drive. It really got the blood pumping, really got the blood flowing. Great high energy song, dug it. I loved that heavy breakdown, very appropriate, very unexpected, didn't see it coming, but when it hit, I was like, oh yes, yes. We needed that. Uh, and we didn't stay there for too long, which I was really happy to. We, we, we stayed there long enough to do the damage, do the deed, and then once we were out of it, we got right back into the same feel, right back into the same tempo, right back into the same groove again, just like we had at the beginning. Smart move, very smart songwriting. Um, vocally, I'm gonna get to that at the end. Instrumentally, everybody sounded really good. Everything sounded nice. Uh, I talked about the digital and the use of the digital. I had no problem with it because the digital may have been taking on the role of the lead melodic line, it, it, and it did. It absolutely did instrumentally, but it wasn't the driving force. The driving force of the song was clearly the bass, the drums, and the guitars. They are what was making the song move forward. They are what was given the song its energy, its drive, and its life, and its attitude. It wasn't the lead melodic line. That was just kind of there like the sprinkles on top. You know, it was just a nice addition. Was that lead melodic line needed? No, it wasn't needed. I think the song would have done fine without it, but it was nice to have. So I had no problem with the digital usage. No people sometimes don't understand what I mean when I say that, you know, the digital took over the song. This is not an example of that. This, the digital did not take over the song. That was maintained by the analog instrument. Um, I, I had no issue with that whatsoever. Vocally, uh, that one vocalist, I keep forgetting her name. She was in the, the Lady Baby video with the pink hair doing all the doing all the grit and growl in that video. And I've seen her a couple times here. I love her, I absolutely do. 
I think she's got one of the best grit and growl voices, period, uh, in, in all of rock and metal. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I would put her up against any dude, any guy at all, and I would put money on her that she would sound better. Not only is her grit and growl strong, it's diverse. It's not the same one trick pony. Sometimes it's a little more pinched. Sometimes it's a little more guttural. Sometimes it's a little more full. Sometimes, sometimes it even achieves pitch subharmonically. Uh, I like it. I like the diversity. I like the talent. Uh, she's definitely one to watch without question when it comes to the world of grit and growl. Uh, the other three ladies, okay. <sighs> it sounded fine. It, it, it sounded just fine. The auto-tune was present, clearly present throughout the entire thing. And here's the thing. I'm beginning to wonder if what we heard was actually live. I don't think it was. Reason I'm saying that is I heard no background noise. I heard no breath noise. I heard no feet moving on the stage. I heard, I heard nothing that indicated live. Um, every note was pitch perfect spot on use utilizing auto-tune now can you use auto-tune in a live setting <sighs> you can but it it's it's it, guys it's sloppy it, it's it's that is technology that has not yet been perfected having it in a live setting you could program it but just because you program it that means the auto-tune is going to be perfect but that doesn't mean the live vocals are going to line up perfectly with, with with what's been programmed so it's never 100 accurate ever this was 100 accurate so is what we heard live no i don't believe it was number and the biggest argument i have it was being used for an advertisement for a live dvd live blu-ray live cd and to help promote the upcoming tour are you really going to take a chance on having live audio put over an advertisement where there could be mistakes, there could be clips, there could be oopses that maybe you might catch or might not. Or are you just gonna go with a studio recording which you can just slap on, you already know it's good to go. Do it on the cheap and make it effective and make it work. That makes way more sense. So is what we heard live? No, I very seriously doubt it. Now, the video footage obviously was live and they probably were playing live to that crowd. That crowd, heard them playing live and they took that live footage and like i said put the studio track on top of it and there you go advertisement Ta -da! so no i don't i don't think for one second what we actually heard was live um it's still a good song though <laughs> still a still a really good song to be honest with you um a lot of fun to listen to um it looked like it was a fun show it, it did it, it looked like they put on a good live show but yeah, I don't think for one second what we heard was live. So anyway, still, nonetheless, getting a really good score of 7.1. Yeah, four stars, B letter grade. And like I said, if you can't interpret one of those four, you know, I, I can't help you. Sorry. So to sum it all up, 7.1, really good scale. Four out of five stars, B letter grade. Take your pick. I don't care. Whichever one floats your boat. Final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then, by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.